Modern rugby is a sport populated by Goliaths. Chris has usually found himself as the lightest and slimmest player on the pitch. But he is no David. Chris is a giant of the sport who has achieved greatness through a combination of talent and sheer hard work. He is the epitome of the modern professional athlete and has the respect of all who have played with him and against him. And yet, despite his achievements and the high regard in which he is held, he has great humility. When told that we wish to award him with his degree, his response was, why me? It is this refresh, refreshing disregard of our current celebrity culture that makes him a role model for future generations. As a sportsman, he accomplished so much, but Chris Patterson's greatest achievements may be yet to come. Chancellor, in recognition of his major contribution to Scottish and international rugby, I invite you to confer on Christopher Douglas Patterson the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. caps, now a bow tie and a gown. <laughs> Just yeah. your thoughts on the day first of all. It's an amazing day, it's something that you never ever thought would ever come away. An honorary doctor of science at Edinburgh and Apia, I feel a wee bit guilty, I feel a wee bit embarrassed, you know, just as if to deserve this, but um, I'm absolutely honoured to receive this award and have an exciting day ahead of me um, and here in Ashford Hall this afternoon. In rugby, you're driven by your goals, your processes, you train hard, you work hard, the team, you have your values. And, and then this comes along and you think, do I really deserve it? You know? But all I ever did when I played for Edinburgh, when I played for Scotland, for all the teams, representative teams, the club side, was, was commit myself entirely to doing the best um, job I possibly could. And, and by doing that, maybe that's one of the reasons, I'm hopeful by doing that, maybe that's one of the reasons why I was uh, nominated for this award and, and here to pick it up this afternoon.